Yo guys, welcome to another video on my Subnautica series and today I'm going to uh, craft the Seamoth and I'm going to uh, craft the um, mobile vehicle bay but first I'm just going to grab some bladder fishes so I can get some water um, so you can get uh, water, all you need to do is just pick up those fishes you go to water and then you get filtered water you can actually get, uh, what was it called, uh, the infestated water uh, and you just need bleach, basically so uh, after you get the water just drink it, let's click on it, easy okay so before we start uh, I'm just going to go to the uh, life pod tree, where is it, oh it's over there, okay just going to go to the third life pod and I'm going to see if there's like anything uh, I need to pick up there. Normally there's like some things to pick up. On life pods. Besides like the the main uh, resource there. That the that main resource right now is the sea glide. But maybe there's something else there, I'm not sure. Uh, can I go inside? Uh, this is the sea glide. Yeah, I can go inside over here. For the PDA and Integrating the new compass. PDA data. A blueprint for the compass. Okay, that was nice. New blueprint acquired. Uh, I see. Uh, I don't think this is useful, honestly. I don't feel like a use for our survivors. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cellar rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Mm, I think they're giving us hints about the uh, Simov, which is basically a mini. Okay, it went dark. Out of nowhere, okay. They're giving us hints about the um, the same as I was just said. Uh, I'm going to go to the I think grassy plateaus right now. It's a biome filled with uh, I don't I think it's either the gla grassy plateaus or the blood kelp zone, I th but I think it's the grassy plateaus. Let's see. Uh, yes, uh, wait, no, this is still the creep pine, pine file. Okay, found them. Um, you can find... Uh, yeah, I just found Seamoth fragments on the floor right now. Holy shit. <laughs> that just scared me a lot, honestly. Fuck. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I just got the Seamoth, basically. Yeah, that, that was a nice find. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, uh, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Short range scans. I'm not going down there. That would be fucking stupid, biology. honestly. And, and I know what that biome is. I'm not going to tell you guys. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, I, there's no need for me to go in there right now, honestly. Actually, this cave is extremely hard to find. I just found it like uh, randomly. So it was kind of kind of nice to do it. Uh, I'm just trying to find like uh, limestone chunks. Uh, I mean sandstone chunks on the walls because I need silver for the compass. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I just need silver. Yeah, uh, this is good as well. Whatever, just some free titanium. I found them. I found gold. Actually, I need a lot of gold. So even if I don't find silver, gold is always welcome. Maybe I'll find silver here. Yep, got it. Well, let's just pick up the last Simot fragment here. Uh, here it is. Maybe I'll find another data mass inside the uh, the life pod as well. Nice, nice. From the PDA. So I'm going to save from here. Just in case the game bugs or some shit like that. So uh, let's see the. Uh, I'm got the wrong button. 
Let's see, what did I get? Wait, what did I get to craft? The Simot? Yeah. And the... Uh, what did I get? Oh, I got a plastil ingot. Wait, do I need plastil ingots to craft it? Uh, nope, I need lead though. Uh, so I need to go to the mountains after this. Uh, I'll make. I'll maybe do a, like a longer video now. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if the rocks. Aurelians. Oh, they're talking about the cave sharks. There's weird looking caves nearby. Uh, the shell is The Aurora yeah. was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Mm, okay, so uh, I got information about what uh, we can find on the crash nearby wait one second where's the crash actually uh, oh it's over there uh, I'll just get some oxygen before I go there uh, it basically told me I mean he was talking about the Aurora but um, this crash I think it also contains those things so I'm just going to go in there uh, I don't think I need a laser cutter to go in there. Yeah, see, it's it has a hope it has an opening over here, so yeah, it's nice. Oh yeah, these are uh, cosmetics, so you can like put them in a base. It's actually nice that they let us like craft stuff to make our bases more comfy. Uh, I need this. Just need one more. A PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Is there anything else here? Oh yeah, there is. Um, floodlight. Holy shit! What the fuck? I think I think it's like a bug. Okay, got it. Nice. Finally. I got the two things I need. I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, I'll just scan it for some easy titanium, I guess. Uh, is there anything else here I need? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need right now. Mm, just scanning the area. Wait, I saw something from here. Uh, oh, over here. What was it? Swivel chair. Okay. I'm going to save it again. It's actually really important that you save the game over and over again when you're uh, playing Subnautica because there's a huge chance that the game like bugs out. At least from my previous playthroughs that, that happened. So, I found two, two things uh, I really need, the same what and that. Uh, I think this is a bioreactor, no scanner room. This is actually, um, this is like off important. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm just going to look for some... Silver now. Uh, before I do that, let me just see if there's like um, anything else here. I don't think so. Nothing here. Maybe around. Another Seamot part. I don't think there's anything else here. Day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventually Another Okay, uh yeah. There's nothing else here. Thirty seconds. Mm, maybe you know another simot perf. Got some uh, oh, uh, there's something over there I need to pick up. 
I almost missed that. I think that's a scanner room fragment. Oh, never mind, it's a bioreactor. These are used to make energy out of. Um, Oh, uh, out of it, I think. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to Yeah, uh, it's a. Yeah, they're made of. Oh! Uh, okay. I need this. This is really useful. I really need to pick that up. Oh, I need three parts. Fuck. Uh, I don't think I can find a mirror though. Yeah. I don't think I can find the parts for that here. I mean, I could try. I'll do one more uh, quick search there to see if there's those parts. You really need a laser cutter on, on this game. Like, um, you, there's a lot of uh, wreckages that need that. If I can find them here, maybe I can find them on the uh, kelp forest. Maybe I mean on the uh, creep vine biome. Okay, where was the entrance? Oh, it was around here, I think. Yeah, it was up here. Oh, man. <laughs> Scanner room fragment. A lead. Oh, there's a shroom cave entrance right over here. Yeah, I'm not going to bother going inside th that uh, wreckage. Like, uh, I'm pretty, I'm like 100% sure there's nothing there to be uh, like. I might be wrong. Wait, why am I hearing a Reaper Leviathan here? What? Thirty seconds. What the fuck? Do I see a Reaper right over there? Well, I'm not going to sit here and see if it's actually a Reaper Leviathan. I'm just going to look for my... My silver ores that I need. How many do I have right now? I have three. Okay, uh, that should be decent enough. Got some lead as well. Oh, there's another entrance here. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, another reason why I don't go to the jelly shroom caves right now is that uh, my oxygen efficiency is literally shit. So if I go there, I'll almost likely just die, like midway through. I actually need to. I can't make a base right now, that's that's the tough part. Uh, I really need like a battery um, thing, like to charge up the batteries. Unfortunately I can't get it. Okay, this is taking way too long to find the entrance. Am I being stupid or some shit like that? I, I know it's over here somewhere. Oh, it's right. It's literally over here. Okay. After I, I complete this, I will, um, I'll just craft the vehicle bay and the sim off, and then I'll end the episode, uh, the episode, at that. Since I don't want this to be like an hour long. Okay, uh, let's just scan this carefully. No. 
So yeah, I don't think anything is there. Shark aggroed on me. Oh, I thought I found like a laser. Never mind. Uh, nope, nothing here besides the vehicle bay fragments. So, yeah, I was right. It only spawns one. Maybe two, but I can't be arsed to do that. So, let's just go to the the life pod. Wait, do I have the... I'm actually curious, do I have the graphics on Ultra? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have them on Ultra. Because this was looking like um, it wasn't loading the like uh, further enough but not uh, like I don't like the motion blur or the depth of field those things actually uh, if you enjoy depth of field it's actually pretty well made here but it's way too sickening if you if you don't like it so don't try to to use it if you get sickened by it easily okay so I need a compass I need the well the compass is just so I can maneuver myself around the map easily. I actually use that a lot. Uh, if you go online and you find like a map, if you're um, kind of lost, you can use that in your favor. Okay, uh, I think I have like two or three of these. Okay, I, I, I sh I'll just make the titanium ingot for the sea mod. Copper wire. Okay, now I can do the compass. It instantly equips, I think. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, it instantly equips. That's nice. So, what else did I need it to make? Here. Uh, I need a power cell? Okay. Two batteries. So uh, overall, I need four copper ores. I got them, and I need lube. Uh, and silicon rubber. Okay, so I guess I'll have to farm some creep vines. Wait, what did I need? Exactly, I just need a power cell and I need two batteries. Like a battery, I just need acid mushrooms. I mean, I can find some right below me, so... No need to worry. Got him. Okay, um... One battery. And then the second one. You know, I just need a lot of silicon rubber. Huh? Uh, I normally, when I'm like crafting a base, uh, I like to keep it uh, as near as the life pod as possible. Just because uh, of the amount of useful things you can find around the life pod. Like, you have the, the creep vine biome right here. You can find acid mushrooms right there if you need to crap, uh, like, if you need them for, like, the, the batteries. You have these things that are actually used a lot, I forgot in what, but they're used a lot. And you have the grassy patos uh, south from here, like, right over there, on, near the life pod 17. Actually, when you go to the life pods now, it actually deactivates the the beacon 
Uh, I like to have them showing. Wait, this is showing. Okay, it was bugged. Nice. They're, they're showing now. So I was going to make uh, the yeah the vehicle bay. I just need the silicone rubber, I think. Yeah, the silicone rubber. I'll just make two, and then I'll make loops. Power cell. Okay. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. I just misclicked. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. I can't develop. believe this shit. I just wasted two silver. I mean, I need wiring kits either way. Um, it's taking a lot. Okay, uh, I like to put my vehicle by uh, here. You release it on the water and then you climb on it to craft stuff. Let's see. So I need two glasses, power cell, titanium ingot. Just going to move it a little closer. So basically I need to pick up quartz, do I have some? Yeah, uh, wait one second, I just press the, the power cell right away, so it saves time, one, two, three, four. So got the power cell, uh, what else did I need? I needed glass, two of them. So, two glass, titanium ingot. Did I have a titanium ingot already? Yeah, I crafted it. Where did I put it? Wait, didn't I just... Uh, okay. Maybe I'm crazy, I don't know. Oh yeah, I think I wasted it on the vehicle way, right? Let's see. Yeah, 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 I used it on the vehicle way. Sure, sure. I was, I was forgetting that. Let's see. No, I just need the glass, right? Yeah, I just need the glass. But first... So I'm there giving me another life pod core. This is Officer Keenan, light pod 19. The captain is gone. Huh? I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Uh, I'm going to check that in the next step. I'm not going to see that. Uh, I'm not going to tell you guys why. Um, it, I might spoil the story for you. So I, I, I'm not sure if it's the, the thing I'm thinking about, but I'm not going to say what it is. I'll do it in the next episode, like I'll click on the message. Because if I activate the, the thing I'm thinking about, uh, it basically ruins the game. Because then I'll need to wait like another half an hour uh, and the video will be extremely long and it won't be like <laughs> that enjoyable to watch. So I'll just save right now, just in case. So, uh, I was looking for uh, quartz. Wait. I just need three quartz, not that hard to find. Fuck. Actually, uh, remember in the, in the last episode uh, when I said these things don't spawn? Yeah. They actually do respawn. Oh, for fuck's sake. Should 
Right. Yeah, they don't respawn. Like you can't get the cave sulfur again. The those little shits respawn. The cave sulfur doesn't. Actually, yeah. Then I wasn't wrong. Things respawn. The cave sulfur doesn't. Uh, I'm almost out of battery on my siglet. Uh, okay, this guy's stuck. Oh my god. Let's pick up extra. Why not? Okay, uh, there's a lot here. Yeah, I was looking for this place. There's a lot here. Uh, oh, it's over there. Just in case, let's see if I can get like some copper. Found some. Because I need a battery. This ship is running out of battery and I can't make like a uh, recharger yet. So, fed, uh, done. I'll just straight up switch it. I guess. I'll just drop the other one here on the floor. So it doesn't break space. So, can I. Uh, yeah, I need to craft the glass first. And yeah, that, this was it. I'm just going to craft the same one and I'm going to end the video. Uh, yeah, I'll just uh, go in here. The Seamoth is a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Got it. Got the Seamoth. I'm just going to turn the lights out so it doesn't Welcome waste battery. Board, this is a really cool vehicle, it's so, like, it's super cool. The way this is made. So, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Uh, on the next episode, I'll uh, see the message I got there. I will go to LifePod19 and I'll try to get the laser cutter. By the way, do you see the uh, yellow thing above my compass? I like the depth. Uh, that's the maximum depth I can go with my um, CMOT right now. I need to find a thing that makes it go deeper. So I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. If you did, uh, smash that thumbs up button. I'll try to continue the, the series on the next episode. I mean, I'll try to, to do like a video on this series like every day. So it doesn't like get stall or anything. So yeah, uh, see ya.